Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a shop or drop, do I want it or not. One of those types of videos, I think Samantha Marsh has a tag here on YouTube. She makes them all the time and I've never made a video like this before. I'll get into why in a second. Um, if you guys like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe before you leave and let's go ahead and get started. I have my hair out of my way, I am chilling, I am comfortable and I am on the trend mood page. I went all the way back to June 14th and that is where I'm going to start with the new makeup that's coming out slash makeup announcements and all of that. Disclaimer, I've never done a video like this before and I'm unsure whether or not I'm going to even upload this because I feel like whenever I look at the trend mood page, I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm like such a hater. I'm like, I don't need that. I don't need that. I have so much, whatever, whatever. And then I start thinking about, well, but for review purposes or things like that. But like, I feel like majority of the things on there, I'm going to be like, no. <laughs> So we will see how this goes. Definitely let me know if you're interested in me doing other videos like this one. I don't know. All right, so the first thing we are going to talk about is the Huda Beauty Glow Coco Hydrating Mist. I see the word hydrating and I am instantly intrigued because I'm dry and I'm like, okay, yes, a hydrating setting mist. I'm guessing it says cocoa because it might have coconut on it. I am okay with coconut on things. The problem with this one is that I have tried her original hairspray for the face and I know how it smells and I know how it feels and uh, it is a lot of scent. So I would not purchase this setting spray online. I would definitely have to try it inside a store first to see the smell situation because she loaded up her original one with fragrance man. That was like putting perfume on. It was not a good situation. So probably will not be picking this one up but i would give it a chance if i saw it inside the store and i would try to like smell test it you know next i have the retro paradise collection from elf cosmetics and this one looks very interesting i definitely don't feel inclined to buy the eyeshadow palette um, I think the thing that attracts me the most on here is the body glow stuff because I feel like so far we've only seen body glow stuff from like higher end brands like Fenty and Huda and I mean this one looks pretty cool so I definitely would be interested in trying the body glow situation. Let's see what it's called. Hold on. So they have a glow up body brush and a multi-dimensional face and body shimmer and it's only $10. So the body shimmer I would pick up, maybe if I saw it in stores, I'm not going to order it because then I would have to pay for shipping, but um, that would be something that if I were to be looking for a body glow, probably I would try that one first because it's going to be affordable. The brush looks really nice, the body brush looks really nice as well. Will I buy it? I don't know, I don't think so, but I definitely would try that one above a higher end one, maybe just because I'm not a body glow type of person, I don't know. Let's move on. This video is going to be so long. I'm ranting about all of these products. <laughs> so then we had the new collection, the Classic 2 by KK Beauty. It looks really nice, to be honest. I would totally get that eyeshadow palette. And the nude lipsticks are really beautiful. I think this is something that my friend Christian would love. Maybe he already got it. I don't know. He is a KKW crazy person. Um, if you guys haven't seen videos with me and him reviewing KKW beauty products, I definitely recommend them. They are definitely some of my favorite videos to like watch back because he's hilarious and I'm going to link one of them up there. Um, okay, so I'm not going to be picking this up because I feel like I already have all of these shades. It's nothing new and exciting, but for someone who is a KKW fan, then I feel like they would definitely get that and it would make sense and they would probably love it too because the KKW eyeshadow formulas are actually really nice. Okay, I have the Morphe Brushes X Coca-Cola collab. I love that they collab. The brushes look fun. Do I need any of that though? Is any of that um, groundbreaking? No, it isn't. So I'm not going to pick it up. There is a MAC X Tiana Taylor announcement on there, but it doesn't show the makeup, so I don't know. 
ColourPop restocked their Sailor Moon collection. I've never watched Sailor Moon. So this collection is nothing that excites me personally. My friend Nicole would be all over it. The next thing is from Danessa Myricks. And it looks like these are highlighter palettes. They definitely look super beautiful for darker complexions. Like, yes. I feel like I'm past the highlighter palette phase. So I won't be picking these up. But they do look beautiful and if you're a working makeup artist, these, these look bomb. These look really nice. Patrick Ta released lipsticks, lip liners, and blushes. They look beautiful. I already saw a bunch of reviews on these that are out. I, for some reason it was a little bit too colorful for me. I like my blush to be subtle so I didn't even think of picking these up because I feel like they would be too much. And for some reason they just didn't excite me. The packaging is absolutely beautiful and I love the packaging for his lip liners. It's awesome. But I don't know, this one just didn't intrigue me enough to want to pick up. Then we have the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream Light, which I tried a sample of in a recent video and I loved. I'm a diehard fan of the regular Magic Cream and I love how rich and creamy and intense it is. So, so I don't know that I need a lighter version of it, but I might pick up a small size or, or like a travel size just to try it to see if I like this one more for daytime or something like that. But I really did like it. And if you've tried the regular Magic Cream and thought that it was a bit too like thick for you, then I definitely recommend that you try this one because I don't know, I don't know what the magic is, but I feel like Magic Cream is really nice. And then we have these beautiful artisanal, is that a word? It looks like artisan crafted Wayne Goss brushes. They look incredible. I should get them. But I saw how much they cost and I ended up not getting them. Maybe in a future restock, they do look absolutely gorgeous and I'm sure that they're spectacular. But I'm trying to spend my makeup money on like new makeup releases that I can make whole videos about so I didn't end up picking those so then there is a new collaboration with Besame Cosmetics and I love Lucy I love the Besame Cosmetics packaging it's beautiful and I mean it looks really nice there's nothing like groundbreaking about the shades of the palette that I'm seeing there um, but I'm not gonna buy it let's face it okay let's keep going Tony Molly and the Minions collaborated <laughs> I mean, this looks very fun, but I am not 10, so I won't be picking this up even though the child inside of me would want to. See, is it even worth it that I'm making this video? I'm like, no, 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 like I knew I was gonna do that. <laughs> there is a lash collaboration, I think, by a brand called Lavender Boutique. I don't know about them, the lashes do look kind of fun but also very dramatic I'm not seeing any style that I'm like head over heels for so so I won't be picking that up either and then um, Kylie Cosmetics and Kendall Jenner have a makeup collection that I believe just came out and um, I've never bought anything from Kylie nothing against her she's so beautiful Kendall is so beautiful and when I saw the palette revealed I was like should I because it had like nice pastel shades in there but I didn't pick it up and I feel like it's probably sold out already and I watched Manny MUA's video uh, reviewing the collection and he convinced me that I didn't need it so I've moved on there is a milky micellar water from Drunk Elephant I love the ingredients that Drunk Elephant usually puts into their products. This one says it has omega-6 and 9, fatty acids, and all of that fun stuff. It does not say the price, which coming from Drunk Elephant is a little scary. <laughs> um, I mean, how much can micellar water be? I don't know. I might try it. I do have um, enough micellar water for the moment being, but in the future, I probably would give it a try. I do love Drunk Elephant products. P. Louise has more eye bases. I've never tried anything P. Louise. I am definitely intrigued. I might in the future. But when I try something P. Louise, it'll probably not be something this fun. It might just be like their staple products first. These eye base swatches do look incredible though. 
Um, Milk has a new Pride lip balm. I think they meant for that to like be a rainbow of colors, but it just looks white. Eh, you know. Then the Natasha Denona bronze palette was announced, which I did buy that. I bought the um, Natasha Denona bronze eye and cheek palette and I made videos on it. I will link that video up here. Spoiler alert, I'm wearing it. <laughs> Yeah, the swatches are beautiful. The eyeshadows perform amazingly. It's Natasha Denona. I expected it to like be amazing, you know? Nikita Dragon came up with some lipsticks or color correctors. I think it's color correctors. She is um, putting them in front of her tits in order for you to pay attention to them. I'm personally not interested, but maybe somebody else is. Maybelline came out with a new collection of lipsticks. They're all coffee based which attracts me because I love coffee But I feel like most of them look really warm and I don't love warm lipsticks on me. I might try the lightest shade The 255 that one looks nice Yeah, I feel like that one looks nice I'm, I just looked at the swatch and it, it looks pretty or like the hazelnut hypnotizer that one looks pretty too. I might try both of the like lightest shades, but I'm definitely not picking up the whole collection because the um, orangey colors and the super dark browns are don't interest me. Okay, this one kind of excited me, but then I um, checked myself <laughs> and told myself that I'm never going to use it, but it is a um, trend mood spotlight type of thing. Um, and it is a bunch of neon colors stacked by Dulzura Cosmetics. I went ahead and followed their page because those look incredible. And it looks like they have something very similar to what Nervina came out with. The like cream water activated liners. And they're pastel and they look good. So this one definitely intrigued me. I have to look into their website, they are affordable because they're selling all of those for like $61 and they have a ton of shades. This is why I checked myself though, they're super colorful, neon, bright shades and like when do I really wear that, you know? So probably not picking those up but you know I did follow them so if they come up with something else that interests me, now I know. I'm not going to be picking up the Fenty lip balms, I thought about it but I kind of lost interest after a while. I love their packaging and maybe in the future I'll pick up like the clear one or one of the nude ones. I just have enough lip balms at the moment so I won't be getting those. Kathleen Lights has new nail polish colors and they are so beautiful and tropical looking. I really love that blue one. It's so, so nice. I don't do my nails though so I'm not going to pick that up but I love them. <laughs> A lot of posts about the Natasha Denona Bronze palette and the Kylie and Kendall collection. There is a new Melt Cosmetics Plum Stack. Plum Stack in a palette. I guess they turned their Plum Stack into a palette. The palettes look beautiful. Um, I don't know that I need them, but like I might need them. How, when does this come out? Let's see. If you guys want me to try any of these products that I'm saying no to, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Lily Lashes has a new eyeliner. I don't wear eyeliner. Then there is a new LC Cosmetics like rainbow palette. It looks pretty, but because I'm not a colorful person, the ones in the background that they've had forever attract me more, and those are not new, so I can't make exciting videos on them. MAC has an extra dimension skin finish highlighter, and it's kind of rainbow. It looks really pretty. I would love to see a swatch of that. I don't know if I would wear it. Then we have the Imagination Collection from Morphe Brushes and Maddie Ziegler. This girl has 13.7 million followers on Instagram. She's so pretty. Wow. I'm definitely not seeing myself picking this one up. Okay, we have swatches right here of the new Mel Cosmetics palette. It came out the 26th of June. Today is the 28th, so I'm two days late to the party. And I mean, it looks absolutely stunning. I feel like I have those shades somewhere in my collection. So I will probably not be picking that up. This Shake Primer by Kat Von D, KVD, um, looks interesting. I would have to see it in person, you know? I'm not sure. Fruit Mood Collection by Essence. 
That looks really fun. I really like their fan. <laughs> when does it come out? It says coming soon. We'll keep you updated. It's not out yet. Sometimes with drugstore stuff, I, I never know like where to buy it. You know, like do I go to a store? When does it drop in the store? Like the dates are confusing because you might go to a store and they probably don't have it there. Or you see something new that hasn't been announced anywhere. It's weird. It's weird. This one. <sighs> This one, this one's pretty. Nabla has this glitter quad and I think it's going to be on Trendmood's box. And I mean, it looks beautiful. The swatches look stunning. I mean, they cut the light right for this picture because damn, I want it. What do you guys think? Let me know down below if I need this Nabla quad. Jacqueline is coming out with a setting mist. I feel like I like the setting mist that she usually likes. So I probably will buy it whenever she drops that. I also love Jacqueline. Let's see, Airbrush Flawless Setting Powder is going to come out in more shades. That is super exciting. I use it in the number one shade, um, which I own, and I love it. So if you didn't have a shade on that setting powder and one of the new shades includes you, definitely check it out. Culver Girl is coming out with um, lid paints. I'm interested in trying some of those. I think I'm going to go to like a drugstore or Ulta or something and see if they have them in stock to try because they look exciting, but um, I don't know. I feel like we would have to try it to see. Linda Hallberg is launching an Infinity Glam palette. I love Linda Hallberg so much. She is so beautiful, so talented. Every time she posts a picture, I'm like drooling over here. I've never bought anything she's launched, mainly because these types of palettes, I feel like I already have some version of that somewhere and I don't need it, but I love her. And one day she's going to come out with something that I'm going to absolutely need. More things that Nabla is coming out with um, over here which dropped June 25th. I've never bought anything from the Nabla website. Their stuff does intrigue me because I'm subscribed to someone who always like gets the stuff in PR and likes them. And, but again, I'm just trying to save my makeup money for like things that I can do a whole video on. So, I mean, I could, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to buy it. The Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury. I, yes, I'm going to try it. I was going to buy their like travel size the other day, but I had a $15 off coupon that I wanted to use and they wouldn't let me, so I got annoyed. And now I'm just waiting to see if I get it at work and I'll buy it there. NARS has two new quads and three new lipsticks. They look cute, but kind of boring. I'm not picking those up. Finally, we got to something that I am buying because I want to review for you guys and that is the new foundation from Tom Ford. As soon as that launches, I plan on buying it. It says it is blurring, it is a medium to full coverage, it's hydrating, silky, it sounds right up my alley. I'm excited about it. It has a bunch of shades as well. So as soon as that launches on July 15th, I will be purchasing it because I'm interested. I want to see how it works and um, so yeah, I'm going to get that. And then this XX Revolution brand of here, the powders look so beautiful. They remind me of Hourglass and they are pretty affordable, but I think that they're a brand from abroad. So I would have to see how much shipping is before I determine whether or not I want to get any of that. Laura Geller has new highlighters. I don't own any Laura Geller products. Let me know if you guys do and let me know if you guys like them because I don't know. Morphe has new face palettes. Eh. Colourpop has a new foundation called Pretty Fresh. I do want to get this one to review it for you. So I think I am going to do that because I haven't tried any of Colourpop's foundations before and this one looks pretty intriguing. So yes, that one is a yes. Wet n Wild came out with a new collection and it is so cute. I love that double-ended brush. It looks really nice and the palette looks super cute. The face palette looks so cute as well. I don't know that I'm going to buy it. Are you guys interested in me reviewing makeup like this one? Take a look at those palettes and let me know if this is something that you would be interested in. 
because I just don't know that anybody's going to watch that if I buy it to make videos on. A lot of the times I like talk myself out of things because I'm like nobody's gonna watch that video, Patricia. MAC has new versions of the setting spray. They're nice, fun colors. I do want to buy a Fix Plus setting spray, uh, but I think I'm just going to buy the regular one. And then last but not least, this is the latest post right over here. And it is from Bosha. They have a new cleanser and mask. Bosha skincare has never worked for me in the past. I haven't found anything in their skincare that I like, so probably will not be buying that either. That is it for this video. Let me know what you thought of it. I feel like it's kind of crap because I don't want to buy anything. But just like most of the things on there currently don't excite me. The Natasha Denona did and I bought and reviewed that for you guys and I love it. But everything else on there is kind of meh. I am going to try the Colourpop foundation and the Tom Ford foundation to review for you. If there's anything else that I went through that you guys are like, you're stupid, you should totally review that, let me know in the comment section below and maybe I will. With that said, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. It's, I don't, you know, I don't know. I don't know if you guys are going to like a video of me ranting about how I'm not going to buy things but definitely let me know your thoughts down below I might never do another video like this ever again so yeah don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and I love you guys so much I will see you in the next video bye